Um, all right, well, I am doing this video in response to some people who've asked how I make up my bed. So as you see, this is kind of my little couch mode here and it's very comfortable. Uh, two people could sit on it and talk to each other this way. So that's kind of the design I had in mind because I had it, had my bed this way and I always felt like we were looking at that wall. And so now I actually have a bench here. The, this is part of the bed so that you can uh, fold it up and it also acts as a bench. So somebody could sit here and have a conversation with me over there. So I will now show you how I do this, okay? So I just have to move. I usually move my uh, pillows over here in this area here so they're out of the way. Um, these have blankets in them. This door is usually closed so they kind of go over further. These bungee cords are for when I'm traveling to keep this sliding piece which is a 40 by 30 piece of plywood and I, I usually have it so that when I am traveling I put these two bungee cords uh, so that this does not slide forward if I stop. So I have to undo them now. Uh, so I put this up like that. Uh, all right, so then this comes up like so. And where did you get these? Uh, these I got on Amazon and I, they're originally for a, a pop-up shelf or kitchen kind of counter thing. And so I had that on the back, but I took it down so that I could use them for this purpose because I originally had uh, two of these uh, on either side. This is just a metal bracket, L bracket, that I, I hooked to the plywood. And this, though, the rail on this side kept on, uh, kept on bumping into my cabinet. So I had to take it off and I had to solve the problem. So I just attached these and they fit under perfectly. The, this is another metal bracket. This is what I used. And I'll, I should put a link below because this is a new company that are making these and I think it's a brilliant idea. It's basically a, a metal leg and you can get them in different sizes. Uh, and then there's a metal, uh, square that kind of fits onto it and then you can just uh, screw those onto the plywood. So for me it worked out perfect because I could move the legs wherever I needed them and and I could put it on the plywood both here and on the bench. So now that I've done this I put this little blanket up a little bit it'll come back down once the cushions are up uh, but then you'll see this is this side is blank because that this little thing will sit on top of it okay and then I I put this uh, as a thing that I could pull forward all right so I usually have to step out here and then I get it going a little bit all right like this push this back and then it just goes like this goes right into bum 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 place so there's a little lip if you notice on that I have on this piece of plywood that sits down so that now this is flush and it doesn't cause any kind of problems. And, and this I made leather so you don't feel that at all either. So now that we've done that, okay, I just take my tatami mat and I go like this, boom, and it is done. So then I fold, this is just a, a little poncho that I have and this and there and usually I would have my shoes off and I can I can move this down a little bit so that's why I love this uh, as well I could um, right now because the chairs are not uh, forward I don't have it all the way down I don't need it all the way down I'm 5'8 and this is plenty big for me uh, and then I use this as a, a little pillow kind of and so then I just can lay down like this. And it's so comfy. My pillows, as I said, are my blankets. So this is a company I saw on another channel called Voided. They're Voided Blankets and they actually fold up into pillows like this. Uh, so this is uh, the one that has on the, the outside is kind of the voided material and then it packs into itself. So it's awesome because you just go like this and then it's very warm, kind of like a, a sleeping bag but with fuzzies on it. <laughs> so in reverse, then I just take this and you 
pull it into itself. And there, there's an, a way to do that that this, I mean, they show you an example online of how to do this, but it's kind of funny because uh, I just kind of shove it in. Uh, it's faster uh, and it has the same result. I mean, except I guess if you wanted it to be nice and smooth, <laughs> uh, but for me, it doesn't matter. Okay, and so then you're, there you are. The blankie is all nice and set up. And then this is how I do it in reverse. So then in reverse, I just step out over here. The tatami just goes like this back into place. This I lift up, go like this. Sorry, oops, there we go. So this metal bar acts as a guide so that it doesn't go wishy-washy all over the place. What? And then it just slides back into place. And then I just put the mattress up a little bit, slide it back into place. And then it's done, my bed is done. And some people, you know, the bigger vans and such, they have their beds made all the time. And I thought about that. I thought, well, will I want to really be making my bed down and up every day? But I do it anyway, at home or anywhere else I make my bed. So, it, I mean, you saw how long it takes. It takes literally two minutes, if that. And so, and then I've got a nice little sitting area again. And that's how I do my bed. And the specifics, I did tell you that these were, so 40 by 30. So two of ply plywood, and I think it's half inch plywood. The bottom is bolted down with those metal legs that I said, that I showed you. And then the top is just free, and it has these glides on it. And if you have room, I would suggest putting them on both sides because then it just stays into place. Uh, then I have a piece that is 10 by 40 that makes up this bench, okay? And so under here, I can store stuff, my shoes, my little toilet that we'll talk about. <laughs> then this is just 10 by 40. So when it's all laid out, it's 70 by 40. So that is how I do my bed. And I hope that is helpful to you. One of the things um, when I initially did it, I had used uh, MDF board because the guy at Home Depot said that, I said, I'm making a pull out slat bed what would I use? I think he was thinking it would be at home and it wouldn't be rocking around a lot. So he suggested that it's beautiful or it's more smooth, but it is, it's just press board basically. And the screws wouldn't hold. And the first time I laid down, it went Krr. So that was not a good idea. So then with this half inch plywood, it has been actually holding up. I was a little worried that the same thing might happen, but um, it's in there pretty well. You know, you wouldn't want to like jump on the bed or anything. So I hope that it answers your questions and uh, thank you for watching. I hope that it gives you all the information that you need if you should want to make a bed like this. Uh, low tech, I don't know. It really just uh, required a drill. And I also have some pictures of that, what I did to kind of attach these. But I, at the time, I wasn't thinking that anybody would really be interested in my bed, so I didn't film it or anything. And all of the things that I mentioned that I don't know what the names are, I'll leave a link below because, uh, like I said, the new company, I really want to give them a thumbs up. I love it. And uh, yeah, anything else, I'll just leave some links. That is pretty much what I did. So thank you, and uh, I'll talk to you later.